Let's do some more examples of graphing linear equations by plotting points. The first one we'll look at is 3y plus x equals negative 1. And we're going to use the two x values, x equals negative 4 and x equals 2. The first thing we want to do is figure out the y value that corresponds with the x value negative 4. And we'll do that by plugging in x equals negative 4 into our equation. So let's do that. We have 3y plus and we're going to plug in negative 4 for x, and that equals negative 1. We can rewrite that as, this as 3y minus 4 equals negative 1. By adding 4 to both sides, we'll get rid of the negative 4, and we'll get 3y equals negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. Now we can just divide both sides by 3 to get y equals 1. So our y value corresponding to x equals negative 4 is 1. Now let's plot this point. The negative 4 means that we'll go to the left 4 from the origin, and the 1 means that we'll go up 1 from, from that point. This gives us the point negative 4, 1, and we know that this is a point on our line. Next, we're going to figure out the y value that corresponds with the x value of 2. To do this, we'll plug in 2 for x into the equation. So we'll have 3y plus 2 equals negative 1. We'll subtract 2 from both sides to get the 3y alone to do that. And on the left hand side we'll have 3y and on the right we'll have negative 1 minus 2 which is negative 3. Now we could divide both sides by 3 to get y equals negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is another point on our line, and let's go ahead and plot that point. The 2 means we'll go to the right 2, and the negative 1 means we'll go down 1, and this gives us the point negative 2, 1. This is another point on our line, and now that we have two points on our line, we can just draw the line, the straight line that goes through them, and that is the graph of the line 3y plus x equals negative 1. Okay, let's do another one. How about y equals 2x minus 1 with the 2x values of negative 1 and 3? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find out the y value that corresponds to the x value of negative 1. To do that, we'll plug x equals negative 1 into our equation. So we'll get y equals 2 times negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2 minus 1, so y equals negative 3. Let's go ahead and plot this point on the graph. The negative 1 means we'll go to the left 1 from the origin, and then we'll go down 3. So this is the point negative 1, 3 on our line. Now let's figure out the y value that corresponds to the x value of 3. We'll plug in y equals 3, or x equals 3, into our equation. That gives us y equals 6 minus 1, which is 5. So we have the point 3, 5 on our line as well. Let's plot that point. The 3 means we'll go to the right, 3 from the origin, and the 5 means we'll go up 5 from there. So this is the point 3, 5. Now we have two points on our line, and so we can go ahead and draw the line through those two points. And that is the graph of y equals 2x minus 1. If this video has helped you, please like it. Then other people who also need help will be able to find this video in the YouTube search more easily. You can subscribe by clicking on the icon in the upper right hand corner.